Hey everybody, it's Samuel Vlogs, and today I'm going to be talking about my experience at Fight for the Fallen. Sorry this is coming so late. I After I came back from the event on that Saturday after the event, I got really sick, and I went to go get tested for COVID, and I came back positive. I've been quarantining the past couple of days. And I'm about out of quarantine. I'm feeling so much better right now. I've only got like a... I feel so much better than I, I did back that time. So now I'm just going to talk about my experience there. So it was fun. It was a really good show. I'm probably going to go back to a AEW show when it comes back here to North Carolina. And so the first thing was that when we got there, it was packed and... Those, there wasn't any room to park, but then we finally got a spot, me and my brother got a spot, and then after that, we, um, we, and we got in the line probably around six, no, it was like, it was before six, no, but I don't remember what time we got there, it had to be around six, I just don't remember when we got there, but by the time we got in, it was about, it was almost time for dark, and... We got some drinks. We saw people that we knew. Uh, we were chanting AEW. We were chanting CM Punk even. But then after that, we entered the arena about probably around the time Dark Elevation started. And it was pretty alright. And first match was Red Velvet versus some Jobber, Red Velvet one. And then after that, we had... Um, I can't remember what matches we had. We had Yuka. She had a match. Chris Statlander had a match. She won. Um, Darby Allen had a match in the main event of Darby Elevation against Bear. It was Bear Bronson, Bear Boulder. I can't remember who it was. Then after that. Oh, yeah. We had Lee Johnson wrestle, and the Miro came out, which was cool. And then after that, it was time. Then after the um, Darby match, was, Tony Khan came out, welcomed us. They did that sh that stuff. And then after that, it was time for Dynamite. We were about 15 minutes away from Dynamite going on the air. And then Dynamite came on the air. I had my ETL sign up. ETL. Because if you FTL, you're a loser. But then after that, Dynamite went on the air. Heyman Page, ad played. We were We were loud. And then after that, they came out. Hey man, Dark Order came out. We were we were popping. We were counting. We were chanting cowboy shiz. Elite came out to a lot of booze, and they were and they were dressed up as people from Space Jam. We we were we were yelling Toon Squad. And then after that, um, the match happened. John Silver, he he put on a hell of a showing. And then, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Stu Grayson. For, for the first time, I thought it was John Silver that went into the crowd. But it was actually um, Stu Grayson. And then, after that, Stu Grayson and somebody else got um, disqualified. And then, and then also, in that match, we also had... Also had a video of Evil Uno C. Grayson eliminated somebody. It was one of the good brothers. And then after that, the match kept going on until it was late. It was Kenny and the Bucks against Hangman. And Hangman, well, they were a free on one. They went, they went insane mode on them. They went, and then after that, Young Bucks got eliminated from the Buckshot Lariat. And then Kenny. Feed trigger, uh, another feed trigger, and then Kenny hit the one winged angel on Hangman to pick up the victory in shocking fashion. Well, I ended up finding out this is going to be because Hangman's going away because him and his wife are having a baby soon, and they're just, and that means that we're not going to be getting Hangman versus Kenny at all out. And so then. After that, we had ta Team Taz and Ricky Starks. They had their celebration. It was nothing. Uh, it was just set up to have Brian Cage come out and beat up these band people. He had, he got the big bass drum and hit 
somebody with it. Uh, I don't know what happened to that guy. He had a family. He must have had to go to the, I don't know. <laughs> and then after that, um, we had FTR versus Santana and Ortiz. One of the uh, members of FTR got injured really badly in this match. And he hit the mat pretty hard. His head hit the mat. I think it was his head. I can't remember what it was, but he was but he was bleeding really bad. And then and then after that, FTR won the match. And then I think this was after this. I think after this we had the um announcement and people and Tony Schiavone announced that Rampage is happening at the United Center, and people started chanting CM Punk. And then the, uh, Darby Allen had played, and Darby Allen. He's, he had cut a promo and he mentioned messing the world and everybody was cheering. And then after that we had the um we had Lance Archer going against um Hikaleo from Bullet Club and Haku came out and they had a it was a big man match. Um Lance Archer won the match. And then after this we also had Cody and Malachi Black. They ended up fighting. Of course, I'm recording this after the Cody Malka Black match, and I'm gonna tell you right now that match was awesome. It did everything it needed to do. And then after that, after that Malachi beat down, uh, poor Flago got hurt. And then after that, we had the um the free the free free match was was. Private Party and a Helico versus Jungle Boy, Christian Cage, and Luchasaurus. Uh, this was just a match to give the other free uh, Jungle Boy and them the win. And then the Blade attack Christian after the match. And then I believe after this, what do we have after this? Uh, I think after this, oh yeah, we had a uh, women's match. Thunder Rosa versus Julia Hart, I think is what her name is. This was just a match that had Thunder Rosa on the show. And then after this, we had uh, the main event, Chris Jericho versus Nick Gage, and holy shit. This was such a good match. And, oh, like, Hangman, I know, oh, sorry. Chris Jericho came out. We were seeing it. Judas in my mind. And then Nick Gage came out. MDK, and then and then the match happened, and what and honestly they tore each other apart. The pizza cutter, I think he just bladed him, and then after that, oh the glass, oh my lord, the glass. People were we were we were literally shocked, and we were so invested in this match, and then the big light tubes. And then at the the finish of the match, we had M oh we had Jericho with the glass. Nick Gage got a big tube of glass, and Jericho countered, took the glass, hit him in the face with the glass, and then just with that to win. And then MGF he cut a promo. We were booing, and he said that the third labor Jericho would be Juventud Guerrera, and. I was like, people were happy. I literally did. I heard, I know this guy, but I haven't seen a lot of his work. I just, I've heard he's good, but I just haven't seen his work yet. Now, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to watch his work in WCW. So, and then after this, we had the Dark Elevation tapings. But before we had the Dark Elevation tapings, we had, we were celebrating Sammy Guevara's birthday. And little did I know, then Flago hit his tornado DDT on the QT Marshall, the Arizona that came out to uh, stop this. And little did I know, Flago joined the Nightmare Factory, I think. So that's awesome. And then after this, we had Dark Elevation tapings. There's not a lot to talk about. We just know that uh, Sheeta, she wrestled. Uh, Ty Conti wrestled, Lucha Bros wrestled, Acclaim wrestled, which apparently that's going to be the last time Mac Max Caster 
is on television, kind of. Yeah. Something happened. And then... Also, after that, we had, um... Also, what else do we have? Um... When I was there, when I was there, because there was some stuff that I ended up missing that I wasn't there, and I was mad about it when I found out they were there. Um... Yep, I said Lucha Bros. I think that was it, to be honest. I, I If I'm wrong, I'll eventually um, recognize it. But then I left probably around 11, 15, 11.30. And, and then... Yeah. And then I was on my way home. Like, we, me and my brother, we were in, me and my brother, we were on our way home. We were still in Charlotte. We were probably 10 minutes away from the Coliseum at this point. And then my brother told me that, um, check Twitter. And I checked it, and John fucking Moxley appeared. And I was so pissed. Probably, yeah, like, I think it was like two, like a match after the, um, acclaim match. That was a um, women's match, and after that was John Moxley. And at least I didn't stay till the end, though, because after I would have left after the John Moxley match, but I ended up finding out that there was a bunch of boring matches after the Moxley match, and the only thing was the only good thing there was is Eddie Kingston beating some jobber, not some jobber, but like some person on the roster that's not really, uh, yeah. So then. I got home probably around 1 o'clock, and it was worth it, so, yeah, that was AEW Fight for the Fallen, uh, please drop a like on this video, and subscribe, this is, I'm on my way to 30 subs, and hopefully I can hit it, because when I hit it, I'm gonna do a big live stream with Minecraft, and so, please, um, if you are on Discord or something, then you, please share my channel, and, yeah, I will, I'll start making more videos soon, and I'll eventually drop a video on review and stuff, and tonight, I will review AEW Dynamite from Pittsburgh tonight, so, hope you guys enjoy that, I will release that video probably tomorrow, or tonight, depending on it, so, hope you guys have a good day, see ya. <laughs>